Hi guys. How is everyone today? I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Today we will be starting a new block that is block number 6 which is No Ordinary Soldier okay by Anu Kumar. Now the genre of this block is realistic fiction. That means okay the story is not real okay it's a fiction story. The characters are imaginary okay but you will be able to relate to it in your real life. Means the actions which the character does, okay, you would have seen or maybe you will be able to relate to it, okay. Or maybe your parents did the same thing for you, okay. So today we are not going to be talking about, okay, the genre of the lesson. But we will be discussing about a word map, okay. So we will be learning about what is a word map. So, let me sh show you an example, okay? So, over here, I have an example of a word map. But before we go there, okay, let me tell you what a word map is. So, a word map, okay, is a visual organizer that promotes vocabulary development, okay? So, over here, you can see I have a picture of a word map, okay? So, the word puppy is over here in the circle means i have to write okay the first thing is i need to draw about a puppy the second one i need to write um the baby okay a puppy is a baby dog okay and the third one okay a puppy is a baby dog and the third one a sentence okay so this is just an example of a word map remember okay word maps okay help you to develop your vocabulary okay it could be your sentence structuring okay you can also learn the definition of a word okay because you will be uh, using the dictionary in the later part of this class okay you will also know what is a synonym that means a word with same meanings an antonym that is words with opposite meanings okay and the picture for given vocabulary word or concept okay now, in today's work, we are not going to be doing or we are not going to draw pictures, okay? This is just an example. So, for example, if I give you a sheet, like the first thing you need to do is you need to draw a puppy. The second one, you need to write, okay, that it is a baby dog, okay? So, or you can write puppy, okay? The third one is a puppy is a dash dog, okay? What today's classwork is all about. Now, uh, if you look at the slide over here, okay, uh, I have got this um, word map, okay, and I have, uh, first I've got this uh, little box with the word impressive. Now, the word impressive is not given in your worksheet. This is a word I have chosen from your textbook, okay. All the words which you will be doing today for your classwork have been chosen from your textbook so the first word i have chosen for you today is the word impressive okay which uh, is in your textbook okay that is on page number 25 okay so what you have to do is you need to write the word impressive in the first box okay now in the second one page number i have written one over here because um, if you look at the textbook this comes under page number one of the chapter, No Ordinary Soldier, okay? It may be page number 25 of your entire textbook, but for the lesson, No Ordinary Soldier, it comes under page one, okay? It is the beginning of the lesson, so page one. Now, sentence from the story. If you look at your textbook, okay, second paragraph, that is the third line, second paragraph, third line, the word impressive is already given in bold, okay, and you would see the sentence, he was tall and impressive with a thick mustache and a deep voice. So, you need to find the word, okay, uh, from your textbook and then you need to find the sentence, okay, and then you need to write it over here. Now, after you find the word, I want you to find the dictionary meaning. So, open your dictionary, okay. Now, the word impressive means something that causes admiration, okay. So, you write it down. 
then what is the synonym okay a word with a similar meaning or a same meaning now a word for uh, a synonym for the word impressive could be notable okay that is also you would get it in the dictionary okay an antonym that is an opposite meaning okay ordinary now after that i want you to write your own sentence using the word impressive over here i have used the king looked royal and impressive in his purple robe okay so in this box you need to write your own sentence and then the last boxes other forms of the word from the word impressive what can you make so we can use the word impression and we can also use the word impress we can make these two words so i hope you have understood today's classwork let us take another example okay this is an example of the word aware this is also in the next page of your textbook okay so it is also given in bold so the next word i have chosen is aware now again in the word box you will write the word aware which page i have written page number 2 because it is the second page of the chapter no soldier okay then sentence from the story what sentence okay uses the word aware in the story okay so over here we have at all times he was aware of the danger you need to take this from your textbook now after that find out the meaning in the dictionary it means having knowledge of a situation write it down find out the synonym the synonym of aware is informed that means a word with the same meaning antonym a word with a different meaning unaware okay unaware make your own sentence the fishermen were aware of the coming storm and then finally form another word with the word aware so over here i have added the suffix ness okay ness and i have got awareness clear so this is your class work for today okay now why should you use a word web okay or a word map why, uh, why is it important okay so uh, a word may have more than one meaning okay and when we read the sentence we get an idea about what the word means so uh, the same word okay when you use it in different sentences it could it could change the whole idea of the sentence okay so a word can, it can have more than one meaning so when you read the sentence you get an idea of the word okay it makes it easier to identify the meaning of the word and understand it okay so when you have a word uh, web or a word map you will automatically be referring to a dictionary okay and this will help you to learn the meaning of the word now when we write a sentence with the same word okay like i've told you to write a sentence okay your own sentence with the same word now you need to think about it right you're going to think about a sentence now you have learned the meaning you're going to process it you're going to think about a sentence okay so this makes the meaning clearer okay it helps you in your vocabulary it helps you in your sentence structuring so uh when you write a sentence okay with the same word okay you will think about the meaning you will think about how it makes sense in your sentence which you are framing in your mind so this is also going to help you okay we learn about synonym and antonyms of different words okay now uh, you may not have known the synonym of those words which i told you but now you have learned few new words and again you will be learning about how you can make a prefix or a suffix with these words for example the word impressive we made it into uh the word impressive we made it into impression okay or the word aware you made it into unaware so we have added prefixes and suffixes clear now your homework for today okay is to use the word incident and frantic now these two words are already given in your textbook they are written in bold so i want you to do s3 using the idea that i have given you clear okay you would use the word incident and you would use the word frantic okay and you would fill up s3 the same way i have done the word impressive and i have done the word 
aware if you have any doubts you can always give me a call okay or you can always message me and i will be happy to help you so that's all for today have a good day and happy learning bye bye